A Toronto supermarket has become the first to use UVC lights to sanitize groceries during the checkout process. The innovative technology has been widely used in healthcare settings, and as Tina Yazdani explains, it's now finding a new home across a wide array of different industries. In go the groceries and out they come, sanitized and ready for use. Adding only 30 seconds to the checkout process, this innovative machine called the Exterminator is bringing comfort to those worried about picking up COVID-19 from surfaces. The response has been uh, really good. Uh, people seem really delighted and relieved. The co-founders of the machine say the idea came to them after facing what has become a common problem in the COVID-19 era. I was really, really tired of wiping down my groceries and I never knew if I was doing a good enough job. They teamed up with a local company called Prescient to use existing UVC technology to build the machine. And six weeks later, it is in action. The technology itself is fascinating. And that's a, a high dose of UVC. The UVC lights deactivate DNA and RNA so common bacteria, viruses and pathogens can't replicate, essentially killing them. Going through the process will take all of the outsides of packages and deactivate them. Researchers say UVC lights are harmless to humans and are already used in healthcare settings like hospital rooms. Now it is being embraced in industries outside of that. Long-term care is another area that we're expecting to see a lot of new demand. While it is a fairly new method in Toronto, it's already been implemented around the world. In New York, for instance, portable ultraviolet units are being used to sterilize subway cars. We asked the TTC if there are any plans to do so here in Toronto. They say they're not prototyping any yet, but they are monitoring the MTA's pilot. There's a great opportunity to take advantage of the, of the power of UVC. Prescient says the company's next project is building a similar product to disinfect N95 masks. As for the exterminator, this is just a prototype and the machine is only in its first week of use. The co-founders tell us they are already speaking with other grocery chains and hope to roll them out as soon as possible. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.